inbound by Jalen Jordan out near half court. Here's Sanabria from nearly half court. And Glenn buries the three to get off the schneid. Back out for Sanabria, another three. That one's back iron. And another offensive rebound. Hurley down low for Yaya, who slams it home. Excellent job on the offensive glass by St. Francis. Good defense and extending the floor. Evans trying to pass it down low for Hurley. It got deflected out to Jalen Jordan, who puts up the three and knocks it down. Roselle Hurley driving, dishing, and slamming it in is Roller. Well, very nice penetration by the Terriers on that play. Jasper is trying to force the issue. Nice spin move by Jallo. Driving, dishing, Hawkins. Inside for Hurley, the layup off glass, it rolls in for Roselle. And the lead back up to eight for the Terriers. Hurley with points number three and four. On Polycap, four seconds on the shot clock. Hurley for Chellin, he puts it up and over. The fingertips of Polycap and Dennis Chellin. One goes off. Buchanan down low, pass for Polycap. Little hook shot over Corey Johnson. And that ends the half, a 10-0 run for Manhattan. Sanabria. In for Chellin, gives it back to Glenn. Now Chellin tries the right wing three, and Dennis Chellin has seven points. Now Keon with the kick for Chellin, back high for Jordan, Jalen's three is good. Excellent offense right there by St. Francis, moving the basketball, finding the open man, quick passing. Aubrey guarded by Mack, a 10-10 matchup. Personal favorite of mine, Corey Johnson coming in strong, lost the handle, but he's able to finish the first half and starting the second as they took the lead for the first time today. Here's Hurley down low, driving in. He scores, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. So three Jaspers, Capuano, Usillo, and Williams with four fouls apiece. There's Chauncey Hawkins, tipped up and in by Corey Johnson. Ten to go. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Sanabria working on Mack. For Chellin up high, three-pointer Dennis off the left wing is good for Dennis Chellin. And it gives the Terriers their largest lead of the game, 64 to 50. Out high for Chellin, down low Keon Williams with a baby hook and he gets the roll. What a shot for Keon Williams. And line, as we count down the final seconds here in Brooklyn Heights, Brooklyn tough. Tougher than Riverdale's best. And St. Francis wins it 72 to 56. Glenn Breika's bunch improves to eight and five on the season. They've won six of eight and remain perfect here at home now, five and oh.